Welcome to my channel, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. The Queen agreed to pay income and capital features tax in 1993 however bequests from sovereign to successor are exempt from the inheritance levy. Nearly two in three Brits agree with King Charles III or to pay tax on his non-public inheritance, an opinion poll has revealed. YouGov survey, which was once performed between September 15 and 16, claimed 63% of the public accept as true with Charles must pay inheritance tax. A further 16% stated the king need to now not pay inheritance tax, whilst 21% indicated they did now not know. Robert Palmer, from Tax Justice UK which commissioned the survey, said, it's clear that a large majority of the public assume the king have to pay inheritance tax on the private fortunes he has just inherited. The status quo is exceedingly ridiculous given how much the royal family has in their personal fortune. This is just one of many examples of how very rich human beings can pay low degrees of tax and legally keep away from paying what is due to the exchequer. However, Supporters of the repute quo advocate it would be incorrect to limit the royal family's wealth generation to generation. The late Queen's personal wealth used to be estimated at £370 million. Such a degree of wealth ought to make Charles liable for an inheritance tax invoice of £148 million, in accordance to Mail Online the levy is presently charged at 40% above the £325,000 threshold. However, when consisting of properties, the monarch's overall wealth is estimated to take a seat at around £24 billion. Inheritance tax stays really controversial as critics declare middle class earners are hit the hardest, whilst wealthier Brits are in a position to make the most the levy through loopholes. The Duke of Westminster, who had an estimated family wealth of nearly £10 billion in 2021, was once in a position to inherit £9 billion nearly tax-free when his father died in 2016 as his estate was once held in trust. However, the result of YouGov's opinion polls comes as King Charles' plans to slim down the royal family sources have even advised the new king will seem to reduce back on components of his coronation ceremony subsequent spring. They claim Charles would like his ceremony to be shorter smaller and much less expensive as Brits grapple with the cost of living crisis. The move is additionally reportedly supposed to mirror Charles' ambition to show the royal family will function below his new leadership. The coronation of King Charles is shaping up to be a massive damage from royal traditions. The date of the historic match has already been secured at Westminster Abbey and is a sentimental one for the new monarch and the complete royal family, in accordance to reports. Royal commentator Angela Mollard stated the upcoming event will probably be a small one, with about 2,000 important visitors from around the world. The king additionally reportedly wishes his coronation to be special from previous coronations, even if that means breaking royal traditions. Drop your thoughts in the comments section and please subscribe to my channel.